everybody welcome to yet another amazing session of vedantu young wonders and what are we going to do today today we are going to learn a little bit about motion and measurement we're going to be a little serious today okay no not it's not a very funny topic today and it's not a very fun related or non academic thing so this is absolutely in your book and something that you have to study really hard okay so today we're going to learn about motion and measurement guess what we're going to complete the whole chapter in just this session because we are starting with sprint okay and sprint is just for you just so that your marks if they are here it should go up above the sky all right so let's start with motion and measurement today and let's take a quick look at what exactly we have to study so in today's session we're going to uh, talk about a uh, story of transport how the whole transportation uh, system change from just cycles or from walking to you know fast cars like for a porsche ferrari and aeroplanes and all of this so we will talk about that story of transport then we will talk about non standard units of measurement standard units of measurement as well as correct measurement of length after that we will also talk about how to measure the length of a curved line i mean if something is straight definitely we all know ki ek scale utha ke chal denge and we will measure it right but what if it's not straight what if it's curved then what do we need to do so we will talk about that as well then we will talk about uh, moving things around us okay so in this we will talk how to understand if something is in motion or if something is at rest theek hai and lastly we will read a little bit about types of motion so are you all ready get set go excited ओके चलो सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद स्टोरी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सो इन द स्टोरी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट टेक अ लुक एट ऑल दिस दैट आर हियर ओके यू सी सम यू सी दैट गर्ल्स आर वॉकिंग यू सी समबडी इज राइडिंग अ साइकिल यू सी समबडी इज ऑन अ ब्लॉक कार्ड समबडी इज राइडिंग अ मोटर बाइक देयर आर कार्स देयर आर स्टीम इंजिनस एंड देयर आर एरोप्लेन्स एज वेल राइट देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स इन केस ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मूविंग ऑन कैन यू कैन यू सी दिस थिंग राइट can you see this slide so how did it all start it all started because uh it all started from walking right we all started to walk first so in the initial days also if you take a look at it the early human beings what they used to do they used to move from one place to another only by, only by walking they used to walk and move from one place to another aur uske thode din ke baad yaad aaya ki okay we can do something like this also somebody can be carried around right this usually used to happen with the royalties jo kafi ameer the like raja rani the landlords and all those people they used to use palanquins aur uske baad people realized that animals can also be used for transportation so bullock carts elephants carrying animals you know uh, elephants carrying uh, people camels horses they are all used to carry you know things or people from one place to another so this is how it all started okay and this i am only talking about the roadways agar main aapse kahu ki nadi paar karna hai how will you do that can you take a bullock cart ya fir hathi ya ghoda aapko paar karwa dega nahi karwa sakta so what do we need we needed something else that could make us travel in a water body right so what did we start with we started with hollow wood logs right hollow logs where people could sit and row it ha huh? that's how we started so bo boats were usually made up of in the in the beginning they were made up of hollow logs after that they realized ye to bas do ya teen logo ko pakad sakta tha next thing we realized is that now ye do char logo se kya hoga i mean we needed more people more people needs to be transported from one place to another so what we what we did was i mean not us early human beings they took some you know uh, 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 how do i call it this took some uh, bamboos or woods and they tied them together and make a, made a boat something like this which could carry more people right they did this and after that we came into we came into uh, you know uh, th there was a realization we realized that boat shaped like this okay that is this is known as streamlined shape so a uh, this right here you can see streamlined shape what is streamlined shape something like this this was mimicked from nature now you might ask me what is mimicked mimic means copying okay so mimic from nature from basically from fishes or birds from nature right this shape was copied from nature and we realized that when this shape is given to boats what happens they can move 
faster okay they can move faster and it was easier to row as well so then came the streamlined shape of boat into picture and after that if you take a look at any boat any cruises anything they are all shaped like this okay now let's move on to now let's move on to okay before i move on i would like to introduce you to the team of vedantu young wonders right here you can see the whole team of vedantu young wonders and you can see that Pritesh sir is for uh, science, uh, Kumar Manu sir for maths, uh, me for, uh, uh, what do I teach? Do you all know that? Yeah, okay. All right. I am here for science and Sundar sir for English and SST. All right. So those of you uh, who, I did not, uh, who do not know me and you are new to Vedantu Young Wonders, quickly let me tell you that, hi, I am Nabhumita Bhattacharji and I'm a master teacher right here at Vedantu. All right. Moving on, this is not the only thing that we are getting you. I understand Sprint is an amazing news for you all. But guess what? We have also brought crash courses for you. Okay, so we have already started with the crash course. You can definitely come and join us. What will we give here? You will get full fledged all syllabus revision here. Okay, there will be discussions, doubt solving sessions. You can also join us on Telegram. We do have a Telegram group. And if you join the crash courses, you will get a personal numbers you can always be in touch with us and it this it, this is the cost of it i understand that you all might be asking ki what is the sabse pehle yahi puchhte hain ki price kitna hai right to 2850 that's the price for it and you have to use the code nbcc to aa jao yaar dekhte hain class mein padhte hain aur acche se hai na theek hai aur zyada personal touch hogi aur zyada baat kar payenge you will get like one whole hour uh, from me all right so i hope to see you all in the crash course class but oh by the way these are the links here and if you think that you haven't noted it down then uh, in the description bo box of this video you will get the links okay now moving on let's understand ki wheel ki invention kaise hui wheel ki invention kaise hui to initial days se hi the early human beings they did know that uh, you know something that is rolling could be a little easier for them. ठीक है तो वो क्या करते थे ये पत्थरों को ऐसे roll करके लेके जाते थे या फिर यहाँ पे ये box देखो what they have done they have put some cylindrical logs below it so that they could roll it and this would have been a easier way to take it down. ठीक है and after this from here they started making uh, discs. They started making wood disc which could rotate. And take them to a different place. Or uske baad, aaj hum dekhte hain aise kisam ke bike. So this is how the invention of wheel or the evolution of wheel took place. Although it took a very long, long time for us to realize that this can be the best wheel that we get. However, we have come to the position. So from a wooden disc to this is the this is how the you know evolution of wheel has helped us. ठीक है? Now moving on to the next part. What are what are we doing here? Yes. We're going to take a look at invention of steam engine. Invention of steam engine has absolutely rocked and changed the whole picture of transport system. So what it has done was initially people could only move in like groups of two or four or like five. That's it maximum, right? But after that, when the steam engine came into picture, initially it could maybe take one or two carriages. And after that, the power of the steam engine was even more, you know, increased. And then it started taking as many carriages as it could, right? Five, six carriages. So, ये जो यहाँ पे देख रही हूँ steam engine, steam engine से ही आज हमारे पास जो भी है ये bullet train, the railway system, the metro trains and all of this started right from the invention of steam engine. Steam engine के आने के बाद ही we realized that roadways transport could be made even faster. Steam engine के बाद we have also seen the rise of you know uh, aeroplanes. Uh, steam engine, yes, they can, uh, they can, uh, I mean, not just steam engines, the railways can take you from one place to another, but take a lot of time. But if we have to reach the place quickly, 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 and we have to cross the water, uh, you know, water bodies as well, and we have to, you know, uh, reach as fast as possible, what can we do? We can always take a flight, right? So this is the whole story of transport and now let's move on to non-standard units of measurement so uh, can you quickly tell me that if i just give you uh, this table and i ask you all of you that please do you know measure this and let me know what is the measurement of uh, you know this table and i'm not asking you to measure it with a scale what will you do you can measure it with your hand like this right take your forearm and you can measure it with your forearm 
or you can take your feet and you know actually walk on it and find out uh, what is the measurement of this right or you can bring some uh, you know 10 12 uh, stones keep that and tell me that ma'am this this uh, table is uh, 12 stones right but that will be different for each one of you if i ask each one of you all of you will give me come and give me different readings even if you measure it with your hand some people will tell me that ma'am this is only five hands ma'am this is only seven hands ma'am somebody says that ma'am this is ten hands but is it standard no so non-standard units like uh, you know this hands or our feet or our forearm or stones and sticks and all of this are not necessary yeah i mean yes they were used at certain point of time but today they cannot be used because we need it to be standard okay and because of non-standard units standard units were introduced to us so what are the standard units right here you can see that this is the metric system of standard units and this is this is also another uh, you know uh, sta uh, this is also standard units itself but it is not the metric system this is the metric system for measurement of length okay so i can i can move a little bit and you can maybe take a screenshot of this okay so you can take a screenshot of this i'm gonna give you like three seconds three two and one all right i hope you have taken a screenshot of this for standard uh, met standard metric system and uh, another standard unit of measurement all right okay now let's move on and let's take a look at correct measurement of length so all right abhi tak to humne sikha ki length kaise measure karna hai par agar hame ye nahi pata ki dekhna kaise hai how exactly can we measure the length to fir kaise pa kaise pata chalega we cannot do it right agar maine jaise maan lo agar uh, let's take an example of pritesh sir and me theek hai pritesh sir and me we were asked to measure this screen theek hai ab pritesh sir ne kya kiya he took a scale kept it straight and he measured it he gave a, gave you all a reading aur bola mujhe ki navamita ma'am you also have to measure this screen maine kya kiya maine scale ko rakha aise maine scale ko rakha aise and i gave a measurement so who do you think is right of course pritesh sir is right right so there is a correct measurement of length there is a correct way to measure the length so what you, what you should do the first thing is obviously what i said you have to make sure that the ruler or the measuring tape or whatever you are measuring with must be kept straight theek hai it should not be tilted aise karke rakh ke scale measure nahi karte ho theek hai what should you do you should keep it absolutely straight so that you can measure the length properly agli baat ye hai ki sometimes you might see that these part of the scale just get, you know is broken so what can you do do you really think that you can consider this part as well no what are you going to do is you will measure start measuring from here aur jitna aapne choda hai utna फाइनल रीडिंग से माइनस कर दो आपको मिल जाएगा मेजरमेंट सही से ठीक है और अगली बात दिस दिस इज नोन एज पैरलेक्स एरर ठीक है व्हाट इज दिस नोन एज पैरलेक्स एरर ये क्यों होता है जब आपकी आंखों की पोजीशन ऑन द सेम साइट ऑन द सेम लाइन नहीं होती जो आप पढ़ रहे हो वो अगर सेम लाइन पे ना हो देन यू गेट एन एरर नोन एज पैरलेक्स एरर पैरलेक्स एरर कैसा होता है अगर मान लो यू आर सपोज टू रीड अ रीड समथिंग ऑन अ रूलर अगर आपने ऐसे रखा तो आपको कुछ और दिखेगा दे विल बी पॉइंट सम यू नो डिफरेंस बट हाउ एवर इन साइंस दैट पॉइंट समथिंग एरर ऑल्सो डज यू नो गिव यू अ वेरी हाउ डू आई हाउ डू आई से बी अ बिग शिफ्ट फ्रॉम योर आंसर फ्रॉम योर करेक्ट आंसर इट विल बी अ बिग शिफ्ट इन साइंस एक्यूरेट एंड एक्यूरेसी एंड प्रिसिशंस आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज वाई you will never look at it a scale like this you will never look at it like this you will always look at it in your sight of vision all right in the line of sight of your vision all right am i making myself clear i hope you all have understood how to measure things correctly moving on now let's try to understand how to measure a curved line to abhi tak to main seedhe seedhe jo bhi tha uska bata rahi thi ab agar koi cheez curved ho to kaise measure karoge kaise measure karoge ek dhaga lo fix one point firmly place it on the curved line and note down the end point take the thread put it on a scale and behold you have your reading that's it very easy see exactly what is done right see that this person is actually noting down the end point he has taken the thread put it here straight and you get the reading of the length all right that's exactly how you should do it for any curved line anything that is curved you can always do that moving on to the next part 
moving things around us how do we always understand that something is in motion or some things are not in motion for example you can see that i am moving right now right now i'm moving hai na but is the screen moving no so in your frame of reference right you are at one frame i am at one frame with the with the screen i am at one frame right so what is happening in my frame the screen is absolutely fixed but i can move what am i doing in that frame of reference my initial position and my final position has moved so can you understand that now so whenever in a frame the initial position of an object is different from the final position you can understand that there has been a motion and as you can see the bees the birds the bus or the clock ticking all of these are moving however a building or a vase which is kept on the fireplace or on a table or on your dining table what is happening it's not moving clear moving on now let's understand types of motion to ye type of motion mein dekho yahan pe har koi straight chal raha hai take a look at this insects insects they are also moving in straight lines right take a look at these soldiers they are also moving in straight line to koi bhi object when they are moving in straight line what can we call them we call that motion as rectilinear motion so right here is the definition as you can see motion of a particle along a straight line is called rectilinear motion theek hai moving on rectilinear motion ka matlab kya hai straight line pe jab koi cheez move kar rahi ho usko bolte hain rectilinear motion moving on now let's talk about this theek hai now let's talk about this yahan pe is gaadi ko dekho ya fir yahan pe kya ho raha tha एक धागा पकड़ा उस पर उस पर एक पत्थर बांधा और मैं ऐसे घुमाने लग गई वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज इन द स्टोन मूविंग इन अ सर्कुलर मोशन इट इज राइट सो वेन एवर एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉलोज अ सर्कुलर पाथ एक ऑब्जेक्ट के पास जब एक गोल रास्ता होगा उसको बोलेंगे सर्कुलर मोशन ठीक है गेरिंग इट सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्कुलर मोशन मोशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल अलॉन्ग अ सर्कुलर पाथ इज कॉल्ड अ सर्कुलर motion and moving on to the last motion of today that is ye dekho this frog is swinging this uh, you know cloak has a pendulum this is also moving so what do you get it right here can you see that the motion is repetitive ek hi cheez bar 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 hoye ja rahi this mind come this a uh, frog comes at this position moves goes to this position again comes back again repeats this motion so what can we say that a motion which repeats itself after a fixed interval of time is known as periodic motion or oscillatory motion what is oscillatory motion this is the spelling of oscillatory motion theek hai oscillatory motion theek hai oscillatory motion all right so what is it known as it is known as either periodic motion or oscillatory motion right here is the definition when a particle repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time the particle is said to be in periodic motion or oscillatory motion moving on to the next one right here is the summary whatever i have taught you today in today's class we have read about story of transport where we saw all the kinds of transportation right the water bodies the roadways railway engines and all of these then we read about non standard units of uh, units of measurement where we can use our feet we can use our hand we can use stones and sticks to measure something right so those are non standard then we came to standard unit of measurement of uh, standard units of measurement where we saw the metric system the si units all those are there where the units are same for everybody a reading is a reading and it will be uniform for everyone then we read measuring a curved line measuring a curved line how to do this just like this you will take a thread fix one point me measure this note down the end point put it on a scale and you will have your measurement theek hai lastly um, at the end we read about moving things around us so what did we figure we figured out that when a object when an object is changing its position in a frame from the initial position and the final positions are different that means the object was in motion and we read about types of motion what are the types of motion that we read we read in details about rectilinear circular and periodic motion however there is another motion that is known as rotational rotational mein kya hota hai jaise gaadi ka pahiya the wheel of a car or the wheel of a train they are all moving right they are moving so yeah that is known as rotational motion theek hai now moving forward i told you that there are ways to be in touch with us not only you have to comment in the youtube videos but you can join 
telegram group that we have for Vedantu Young Wonders. Right here is the link t.me slash Vedantu Junior. Please download telegram and search this for to find us and we will definitely talk to you. Take it there all the interaction, the discussions, polls. If we are going live, everything will be told to you in this group okay and last but not the least we are Vedantu Young Wonders and if you like the uh, you know the content that we are sharing with you all the things that we are teaching you if you like us then please do like share and subscribe do let your uh, friends know your family your siblings your cousins everybody know come and make this family even more bigger than it is all right guys so that was all for today i hope i have cleared all the doubts that you had for motion and measurement if at all there are more remaining then do comment on the comment section and you can join the telegram group to let us know what troubles you are facing all right so that was all for today bye bye see you in the next session everybody bye